I've actually been really lucky, you know, as a singer trying to, to break into the acting side and, and hone that side of my artistry, you know, sometimes you can get pigeonholed, you know, all you get is, is musical roles or something that has to do with either, you know, being in the church or, or trying to make it in Hollywood or something like that. Um, but I've, I've been really lucky. I've gotten anywhere from, you know, romantic comedies to sci-fi craziness to um, uh, the films that I just finished, which one is an in indie film where I, I am a preacher's daughter, but I don't sing. Um, and then the other one is called Left Behind with Nicolas Cage, which is about the rapture. So I've gotten a whole bunch of different um, opportunities, and that's been really fun to see the differences. And I'm actually working on CSI this week. Um, I play a teacher who is a suspect and also a victim. Well, I mean, it's, it's only one episode. I, I wish it was a series regular. If any of you know anybody, put in a good word for me. Um, but I, I actually, CSI has been one of my favorite shows since I can remember. So I, before Idol, I had, you know, I had the box set DVDs and I would watch them all the time. And I'm just, I've always been interested in shows like that, that have to do with like the psychology of people, why they do the things they do. So I love, you know, Criminal Minds. I love Porters, I love intervention, like I love, I love that stuff. So um, the opportunity came up to audition and I was like, you just tell me when and where and I will be there. So um, I'm really excited that I, I was, they liked me and I get to go and do it. So I, I play a teacher. I can't give away too much because then it, you would know the whole thing, but um, I think it should air sometime in, in November. So I think they're trying to do a quick turnaround on it. Okay, let me just be completely honest here. I have been pushing and pushing and pushing for, for music to happen. And honestly, God has just been opening doors for me in the acting side. Like, I'm like, but I really want to do music. And he's like, ha ha, here's CSI. And ha ha, here is everything else. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll just, I'll go this way. Um, that doesn't mean I'm, I'm not doing music. I have the album finished, although now it's going to be open. So if new songs come up, I'm going to record them if they're amazing. And if I think of something to write, you know, that process never really ends. You know, as a songwriter and, and a musician, you're always becoming inspired, so new things happen all the time. Um, but as far as, as acting goes, you know, you it is a big time commitment when you're shooting, and then you have all this time off until you have to do the promos and the amazing round tables and, you know, the morning TV shows and all that stuff, and then that's also another time commitment. So it's the same as music is that you have a product, or not a product, but you have your creation, and then you go through your edits and you, you tweak it and you know, make it work and then you do promo for it and then you release it and hope that everybody likes it. So it's essentially the same thing, just the timing's a little bit different. But um, I'm hoping that if I have time um, at the beginning of the year to get a single out, because I have it done and I have it ready. I'm just ready to launch it. So I just have to, I just have to figure out the timing. You know, everything's all about timing. Simon, um, I mean, I see, well, when he was on Idol, I saw him every year, like at the finale, and I would see him and say hello. I haven't been to the X Factor, so I haven't seen him there, but um, no, I haven't run into him recently, no, I haven't. It's almost kind of like, I would love to go, I told you so. <laughs> like, I would love to say that, but at the same time, at the finale, remember, he did apologize when he was like, I was wrong. You were great. And I was like, oh, thanks. Um, but you know, I, I actually love Simon. He... Oh, here's a story people don't know. When I was 14, I actually went to the third season of American Idol. I watched Jennifer Hudson live on stage. I watched the whole thing, George Huff and um, Jasmine Trias and everybody, I was obsessed. And I had a sign, it was black with silver writing and it said, Simon is always right. And I held it up, I held that sign up loud and proud because I love that Simon has the guts to say what everybody's thinking and he gets booed for it, but that's okay, because it's a constructive thing. So when I was on the show, it was really crazy to be in front of him, because then I was like, oh, so this is how it feels. Okay. <laughs> um, but for for being 17, I, th I thought I handled him pretty well. You know, I, I didn't have any crazy breakdowns, thank goodness, I probably could have, but um, I, you know, I just always wanted to top myself on the show, and I loved everybody so much that I didn't want to think of being in competition with them because they were my friends. So I just wanted to, you know, top myself each week.